Hi, today I would like to talk about the Interest Checklist Assessment. The Interest Checklist Assessment is originally made by Matsu Suyu, but the focus on this video is about the modified Interest Checklist that was made by Gary Wayne Gilofta. The modified Interest Checklist is based on the model of human occupation of Moho. In 1983, the modified interest list was revised by Kilofner, Neville, and others. The assessment gathers information on the client's strength of interest and engagement in 68 activities in the past, currently, and in the future. The main focus is on the leisure interest that influence activity choices. The purpose of this assessment are to classify the types of interest as either no interest, some interest, or strong interest to see whether the patient can express personal preferences and to see whether the patient can discriminate between choices. The type of modified interest checklist assessment can be either self-report or informal report. The modified interest checklist assessment are divided into 9 categories, each listing a range of related activities and with provision for the inclusion of additional activities. The indication includes schizophrenic disorders, depression, personality disorders, and other psychosis. The control indication may include poor quality function and poor insight. This assessment can be administered in 15 to 30 minutes. After the client finishes completing the checklist, all of the strong interest activities or some interest ones if they are no strong ones are written in a box in a summary form. Client is then encouraged to prioritize this list and select one interest from the prioritized list and together with the therapist identifies an action plan for participation. The client is asked to place checks in each column to indicate their level of interest in each of the activities and pattern of participation. Hi, I'm Alina, your occupation therapist for today. So in this session, we are going to do modified interest checklist assessment. So in this assessment, you are going to give an opportunity to you to indicate what are your current interests, how interests have changed, and whether you participate or wish to participate in an interest activity in the future. Okay, so for this assessment, it can be done by separating. But before you do this assessment, let me explain how to read this assessment. Okay, so um, here, uh, you just need to tick uh, in the space provided. The first column is about the level of interest uh, in the past 10 years and in the past years. Um, it is whether strong, some or no interest at all. Uh, only one column should be ticked. And then uh, the second column is about whether you currently participate in this activity. It is uh, yes or no. And the last column is about uh, would you like to pursue this uh, in the future. Uh, also yes or no. So you may start now. Based on the results, um, the prioritized activity that you choose indicates that you are most interested in that activity, in that particular activity. So there are eight strong interest activity that you choose, uh, but we need to shortlist um, from eight to three activity uh, for the action plan, which are movies, barbecues, and listening to popular music activity. Okay, that's all. Uh, see you in the next session. So here is the example of dummy scoring. For the interpretation, the prior task activity that the client chooses indicates that the client is most interested in the activity. The test retest ability for Japanese interest checklist for elderly is good and for the feasibility is indicates strong. The last one is conversion validity with JICE is high. This assessment is conveniently administered, easy to complete. The checklist is simple and straightforward, less time consuming in administration and scoring, and has varieties of different leisure activities. 
the disadvantages include there is no space for respondents to add items they are not listed in the assessment, limits the finding of the psychometric properties except for JICE, and the injuries at this data from a larger sample that represent both genders should be analyzed for general representation. That's all from me. Thank you.